What's up everybody, Raphael here. Welcome to the channel, Network Engineer Pro. If you are brand spanking new, glad to have you. If you've been here before, awesome, welcome back. In this video, I'll be covering BGP summarization, AKA aggregation, which is a topic that you're gonna see at the CCMP and the CCIE level. So if you're going for your CCMP or even your CCIE, then you're gonna wanna check this out. Summarization in general is a way to reduce the number of routes that are in your routing table. We do this by consolidating multiple longer matching routes into a single less specific route. So instead of me sending you multiple contiguous routes from my routing table, I'm just gonna send you a single summarized or aggregated route. Summarization is supported in a variety of protocols like OSPF, EIGRP, and BGP. As of right now, in August 2022, there are over 1 million IPv4 prefixes out on the public internet. That number could be a lot less with proper summarization. Summarization in BGP can also be helpful when it comes to traffic engineering. Let's take a look at our topology and the objective really quick and then head to the CLI. Here we have router one and AS1 on the left, router two and AS2 in the middle, and router three and AS3 on the right. Because each router peers with another router in a different BGP autonomous system, that makes these eBGP peerings. Router one on the left in AS1 is advertising five slash 24 prefixes. Those five prefixes or NLRIs, which stands for network layer reachability information, are being sent to its eBGP neighbor, router two. Router two installs them and then sends them to its eBGP GP neighbor, router three. And that brings us to our task. We are only allowed to make config changes on router two. Configure router two in such a way that router three only sees a single BGP summary route representing the five networks router one is originating. Okay, cool. The instructions are pretty clear. Let's get started. Before we start configuring anything, let's verify the current state of the network. If I do a show IP interface brief, pipe exclude unassigned, I can see the five slash 24 networks represented as loopback 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Those five 192, 168 networks there. Next, let's check our BGP config. I can do that by saying show run pipe section router BGP. Nothing fancy here, just a couple of network statements, a neighbor statement, and a router ID. Let's check router one's BGP table by saying show IP BGP. Looking good so far, I can see five prefixes in my BGP table. I should be sending these over to router two, right? By going on router two and checking its BGP table, I would be able to quickly see if those prefixes are there or not. But I wanna show you another way to check from router one here. First, let's verify that the neighbor's up show IP BGP summary. This is telling me that the neighbor router two is up. The number in the last octet indicates what router that is. So if you see a two there, that is router two. If you see a three, that's router three and a one is router one. So that neighbor's up, that looks good. Let me show you a command to see specifically what router one is sending to that neighbor router two. The command is show IP BGP neighbors 10 0 0 2 advertise routes. Great, I am sending five prefixes over to router two. Now let's head to router two. From router two's perspective, let's go ahead and do a show IP BGP summary just to verify that our neighbors router one and router three are up. And we can see here from this output that they are. And we see that from router one, we are receiving five prefixes. Let's take a quick look at our BGP table by doing show IP BGP. Great, that looks good. Those are the five prefixes from router one. Now let's go on router three. Let's check router three's BGP table show IP BGP. Great, we have the five prefixes here. But remember what our task was. We don't wanna see the individual slash 24s, we only wanna see a single summary. Also in this output, all five prefixes were originated from AS1, right? We're all on the same page here. Take a look at the AS path information on the right. For those five prefixes, we can see that they all originated from AS1, right? Router one in AS1, passed through AS2, before arriving here on router three. This AS path information is really important, so keep that in mind for the rest of this video. Now let's head to router two and get the summarization configured. So again, on router two, we see the five individual slash 24s. We need to aggregate those into a single summary route. But the question is, what should I summarize all these routes to? I see that the first two octets in all five networks begin with 192.168. So I could summarize these into a slash 16, but to be honest, I think we can do better than that. Let's find out how many bits we have in common. To do that, we write all the networks out in binary. We need to find out how many bits are in common or the same for those five networks. We can tell right away that the first 16 bits match. After that, the next two bits match, which gives us a total of 18 
15 matching bits. Starting from the 19th bit and on is where things start to change. Because 18 bits match, that gives us a network address of 192.168.0.0 slash 18. And a slash 18 is 255.255.192.0. That is going to be our summary address that we are going to use to aggregate these five networks. Let's do it. First thing I'll do is I'll go to global config by typing config T. I'll go into my BGP process, which is router BGP2, because router2 is in AS2. The command to do summarization in BGP begins with aggregate address. And then what are we aggregating to? Remember, we're aggregating our 192.168.0.0 into a slash 18, which is 255.255.192. After that, I'll go ahead and hit enter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check router 2's BGP table to see if there's anything new that it might be sending over to router 3. Let me type do show IP BGP. Okay, that's looking really good. Right now I see a 192.168.0.0 slash 18 in our BGP table. Let me switch over to router 3 and see if it got that new summary prefix. Now that I'm on router 3, I'll type show IP BGP to see its BGP table. And oh yeah, right there, the very first one is a beautiful slash 18. 192.168.0.0 slash 18. Perfect, we're done, right? Are we really done though? Remember, our task was to make sure that router three sees only a slash 18. We do see a slash 18 here, but we still see the more specifics. So we're not technically done. So, okay, how are we gonna get rid of those? Well, maybe we could do some filtering on router three somehow inbound, or maybe filter them outbound on router two. Hold on, hold on. Before we get too complicated, let's go back over to router two. Let's go back over to our BGP config, on router two and check if there's any additional arguments here on the aggregation command. I'm gonna hit spacebar, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type the keyword summary only. By default, when you are doing summarization or aggregation in BGP, if you only do aggregate address and then the network, you will be sending the summary as well as the more specifics. To stop sending the more specifics or to suppress the more specifics from being sent, you're gonna type the extra keyword summary only. I'll hit enter and now I should be sending only the summary over to router three. Let's check the BGP table here on router two first. Do show IP BGP. All right, let's see if anything changed here. So we still have our summary address, but look at the details on the more specifics. All the way to the left, what do you see there? We see an S. If we look at our status codes up here, S means suppressed. We didn't see that before. After we added the summary only keyword, all of the more specifics have been suppressed except for the slash 18, right? The summary prefix. Let's hop over to router three and see if that is indeed the only thing we see. From router three, I'll type show IP BGP to see router three's BGP table and perfect, I see only the slash 18. I don't see those more specifics anymore. By adding the summary only keyword, it will suppress the more specifics and send only the summary. Something important to note about this aggregated route that we received from router two is that the AS path information has changed. Before, if I scroll up, I can see that the 192.168 prefixes originated in AS1, passed through AS2, and then we're sent to AS3. Now what happened is that when we configured summarization on router two, router two created and treated that aggregated route like a brand new prefix that it originated with a shorter length. It did not include the AS path information from before the summarization. We can see that here by in our AS path, the only number that's there is two. It did not include the AS path information from before summarization. From router 3's perspective, that original AS path information showing AS1 as the originating AS is gone. The AS path is also used for loop prevention. If router 3 was receiving a summary and the more specifics, and then somehow those prefixes were sent back to router 1, router 1 would receive and accept them. That could cause a routing loop. Remember, if a BGP router receives an update inbound from an eBGP peer, and it sees its own AS path in that update message, that update gets denied because there's a potential for routing loops. We don't want to accidentally accept an update that we're not supposed to. That is one of the cons in doing summarization in BGP. Some of those important path details are no longer there, and that's what we're seeing right now. 
Another very important detail about summarizing or aggregating routes in BGP lies in the details of that particular summary prefix. If I look at the details of this slash 18 prefix by doing a show IP BGP, and then putting the network here, I'll hit enter. I can see that this was aggregated by router two, whose BGP router ID is 2.2.2.2, .2 but I also see this keyword here on the bottom called atomic aggregate. That's a very interesting attribute. What the heck does it even mean? When you're looking at the details of a specific BGP prefix and you see the atomic aggregate attribute set, train your brain to think two things. First is that it's a way of letting you know that this route is an aggregate. If you look at the BGP table, you might see hundreds and thousands of prefixes. You're not gonna know right away that that specific route in the table is aggregated. By looking at the details of a particular BGP prefix and seeing the atomic aggregate attached to it, that immediately tells you, hey, it's an aggregate. I like to think of the atomic aggregate attribute a little bit like a route tag. The second thing is that when you see the atomic aggregate attribute on a prefix, it's letting other BGP speakers know that, hey, some of that path information is gone. It's been destroyed. It's been nuked into oblivion. Serious loss of path information has occurred. Let's get back to the CLI. Now that the 192.168.0.0 slash 18 prefix is the only prefix on router 3's BGP table, and it's the only BGP route in the routing table, our task is complete. We're just about done here. Let's do a quick recap on what command we used on router 2 to accomplish our goals. I'll hop back on router two and do a show run pipe section router BGP. The configuration on router two wasn't too complicated. Just identify the summary that you wanna use by writing out the networks in binary and seeing how many bits you have in common. Then do the aggregate address command under the BGP process. If you do not include the summary only keyword, the summary route will be sent along with the more specifics. If you want to suppress the more specifics and only send the summary prefix, use the summary only keyword. That's gonna be it for BGP summarization. We went over how to configure summarization in BGP and how to come up with the appropriate summary from scratch. Remember, by default, without any additional arguments on your aggregate address command, the summary is sent along with the more specifics. We changed that default behavior by adding the summary only keyword, which suppressed the more specifics and sent only the summary, meeting our objective requirements. Another key point that I want you to remember is that when you're doing summarization, some of the path information is lost. This is gonna increase the chance for routing loops, but that can be fixed, and I'll show you how to do that in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you wanna see more BGP content, let me know in the comments. Hit that like button, it doesn't cost a thing, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Well, that's gonna be it for now. Thanks everyone, have a great day, and lab on.